Welcome to week 22 of the Marguerite Miller Challenge. I'm Cindy and welcome also to my channel. This Today we're doing this as a two-parter and I'll talk about it in a minute. Let me put this down real quick. I need a border or a frame. I need something found in a library and I have the cover of a book. This was Bullwick Griffin, one of the books that I had when I was a kid growing up and um, I found another copy of it and I am taking it apart. I loved this book. This was such a cool book. Uh, a bug or an in insect? I have butterflies. Yeah, I'm not. I don't like bugs, so I butterflies. A piece of a newspaper. I have the uh, weather report from the Finger Lakes Times. Stitching, real drawn or stamped. I'm going to have to. I don't do real, um, so I will be drawing it. And the bonus will be paint splatters, which um, I don't know. I don't know about yet. So let's go ahead and get these down real quick, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit, too, about the rest of this video. So it doesn't take me long, obviously, to do these um, challenges because I already have my papers, and I'll, before I even turn my camera on, I've already made a lot of decisions. Uh, initially, when I first started this, that was not true, but it is now. And so it doesn't take me really very long to put these together. And I am going to frame up my weather report. Do I want the whole thing? Yeah, I think I want the, the three-day forecast for the Finger Lakes. Let's do that. This frame actually came from a calendar. It was a scrapbooking calendar, and I took the middle of it out and used it for something else and the, left the frame. The frame have all these pretty birdies around it. There we go. We will frame those puppies up. Okay, something found in a library. I have my bullwhip griffin. I don't know if this is going to work this way because it's a pretty thick piece. I may have to Fabri-Tac this down, but we'll give it a shot with the glue stick and see. Oops, upside down. Bull Whip Griffin. If you've never seen the movie, it is a cute movie with Roddy McDowell playing the part of Bull Whip Griffin. He's an English butler who is on his way to the United States, actually to out to the gold rush for some other reason, a purpose that has nothing to do with anything but he ends up becoming known as Bullwhip Griffin. Okay, so I have my border, my frame, I have something found in a library, I have my bugger, my insect that I haven't put on yet, piece of newspaper, and we're gonna stitch. Hang on, I'm gonna cover that up. I want to stitch, as it were, around the outside. So I'm just going to do this, and I'm not, I'm gonna pause my video while I do this, because. Nobody really wants to watch me do these dotted lines all the way around the outside. So hang on, I'll be right back with you. Okay, I have done my stitching. I stitched here and I stitched here and I stitched there. I am getting out a little bit of acrylic. This is flesh tint paint. And I'm just putting a very small dab there. And I'm gonna get my water. Oh, I'm pausing you. I gotta go dig out my water. Okay, I'm back with my water and a toothbrush. All right, I am adding water to my acrylic paint. I have way too much paint here. Um, and let's go ahead and mix it up, and get it to. Better, a nice watery consistency. No, that's a not. A, that's not a splatter. That's a splotch. Let's try that. I can pull that up again. I am making a mess. I don't. Obviously, I don't do this very often, and you can see why. 
Okay, let me grab a Kleenex. And I'm going to take my splotch off a little bit because I don't want it to dry too much like that. All right, so instead of paint splatters, I paint splotches. You know what, so what? We're gonna splotch the paint. There, the paints will now be splotches. It's my collage, I can change it up as I wish. So I, there. I did, oh, now I don't have a place to put that. Okay, and I have to add in my insect. Let me add in my insect. I have this pretty yellow butterfly that I think will look just nice right there. All right, I'm gonna pause my video one more time, clean this up, and we'll come back for part two. Okay, I am back with part two of this video, and one of the pieces that I really need to take care of, I am a little bit overwhelmed with scraps. I have so many scraps that I have to do something with all of these. And so what I have decided is I'm going to start doing kind of by color. I'm going to do, a, I guess you could call it a glue book, but it's really more of a place to put sort of kind of master boards and what I will do is on this side I will put these colors down and on the flip side I will use uh, scraps of lined paper and other kinds of paper and whatnot and cover those up. So this is what we're doing. I'm, I'm kind of calling it Scrappy Saturday and I like rectangles for this. I think that's going to work. Rectangles and squares will work much easier than anything else in creating this. I don't, I, I don't want to call it a glue book because it's not really a glue book. I guess they're sort of kind of master boards. But it's a place to store all of my scraps instead of keeping them in the bin where I never use them and they just end up getting in the way or just overflowing. My glory, I have so many scraps that I have to do something with them. And I don't know if you're like me with that or not. When I first started out, I didn't have any scraps and people were doing all these cool things with scraps. And I thought, I don't have any scraps. Now I have scraps. I've been doing junk journaling for about a year. And in that time, boy, have I managed to amass some scraps. Just double checking here. Okay, so this one is obviously going to be in the reds, and I have some solid reds, as well as some, I'm going to go put that whole thing down there. I have a bunch of these solid reds, but I have a bunch that are not, and I pulled out all my pinks and reds and corals, because I thought I would kind of stick in those themes. Pinks and reds and corals. Now this is a little bit too long for the page, but that's okay. I can just snip off that little bit later on. Okay, what else do I have here? Let's. And I don't care if the patterns mix, you know, match or don't match. Um, it's kind of nice. It fits almost fits right there. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for the second. I like that piece. That'll work nice there. Let me just take trim off a little bit. I'm going to put my trimmer over here to the side. It will probably be off camera most of the time, but I just want to be able to cut that one down. Now I cut it a little too far, but that's all right. We'll fix it up later on because we have lots of little scraps too. I was going to go the other way, but Maybe I want to go that way. I think I want to go that way. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I want to go that way. Okay. So I have all of these scraps, some of which match, some which don't. I don't know if I really want you there or not. So we're going to take you off of there. All right. I have some more pink. 
This one I think is going to be more in the pinks. Those pinks don't go together. Nope, most pinks don't go together at all. That's not a bad pink. It'll fit right down there. So I hope you're having a good time today. I hope you have got, you go ahead and pause the video, get out your scraps and scrap along here with me on this scrappy Saturday to borrow a term from Gail. And just, I'm just grabbing different pieces here that are the same or similar colors. That red may end up needing to be covered over. Who knows? Got an awful lot going up and down. I need to have some go the other way. Okay. What do I have that I can put this way? Oh, look. There's a little piece of that. Let's do that. So we'll put that there. That step you hear in the background if you hear one is my son okay I like this piece but I don't want all of those oops I got that little piece we'll set that over there okay don't well that makes kind of a nice flag doesn't it okay we'll set that aside for a flag and I do like the curves on here I just don't think I want them in my master board so sorry the waves are going out. And that will fit very nicely there. Okay, I cut it again. I cut it a little too short. But again, I'm not going to worry about it. Because when we're done, we will just add washi or something else to it and cover those little spots up. It's not a big deal. Getting towards the end of that glue stick, I'm going to have to do something else. Okay, right down there. I'm sticking to myself. Okay, what else do I have here? Got this stripe. That isn't quite wide enough for that. Do I have something that's a little wider? That's more of a an orangey stuff. Then I have this. Let me cut that down. That's there we go. And we'll cut. Oh, sorry about that. So yeah, I, I have all of these scraps. I really enjoy doing all this work and whatnot, but boy, do I have a lot of scraps as a result. So I, and I was keeping for a long time, just keeping everything. I would keep it all because you never knew what you might use it for or what you might need it for when you just need that last little piece to go in someplace. So I was keeping everything, and I, I can't do that. I just don't have the room to keep everything. So getting rid of some of these is a good idea. I am really sticking to myself here. Okay. You're probably seeing a piece going, take that one, take that one, use that. This little tiny piece. I think I'm going to put, there, we'll put a piece of it here. That's just got a little bit of blue on it. It's off of a ledger that I uh, beet dyed. Okay, let's get that right in. I'm going to tuck you right in there. There, and you kind of cover up a little bit of that too. So there's that. And then let's put a little piece here. See, I've got glue on my finger, so now everything's sticking to me. I usually keep a wet wipe or a washcloth right near me 
and I don't have it at the moment. Okay, we'll put a little piece down there. So I also have all of these pieces because you know these those are all medium sized pieces. These are larger pieces. Larger is a relative term. I have this little piece here that I think I'm going to stick down there. That came off that other end. I know that my glue stick is getting near the end because it doesn't stand up anymore. It keeps falling over. There we go. If we put it that way, it fits. Just fits. Okay, let's make this a square. Screw up those corners because it's easier to do this with squares than it is. Oh, that's not much of a square, it's more like a quadrilateral. Okay, let's try that again. That's better. I don't know where it's going to go, but we'll find a spot. Come on, now I can't get it up. doesn't quite, it's not quite long enough, so let's put you over here. We'll fill in over here. Okay. I have another. Nope, 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 nope. You are being very patient with me as I find, oh, there's a nice piece. Okay, let me clip off the that section. We'll find these scrappy Saturday pieces and just use them up. And the picture underneath slowly disappears as we find there we go. There's another piece that can we. These came from the tops of different 12 by 12s. And I saved the tops because there's some cool patterns. There we go. And I've got that other piece. Let's go ahead and use it over here. And I'll just cut off the bottom. In a little bit. I know I've got two very different patterns right next to each other. I have looking back through here to see what else I have that's pink. I have this pretty pink here that would be nice down there. You never get rid of stuff. Put that right over there. This is a pretty piece of pink. And I have, well, I have, I have a, one of those, but that's not going to work on here because I don't want to. Ooh, 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 what is this? There we go. It has some butterflies on it. Yeah, let's put that right over there. Just a little piece of butterfly paper. Right down to the end. Because don't forget, I'm going to cut all that part off. So there's a little bit. What else might we have in here? That's a bright red, but I, I'm try I don't think I want the bright red. Kind of sorry I put that piece down. Looking for any more that's pink. There's a pink. There's a pink. There's another pink. Those are some hot pink. All right, you can see that I haven't, I don't have a whole lot of extra pinks left over, which is surprising because I've done a lot of pink journals. 
I have done a lot of pink journals. Okay, we're just going to cut the point off of that. Pink and green and the pink and teal, those are among my favorites. Okay. I have just a solid pink that is not very well cut. Okay. I know I'm not very talkative today, but I hope you're having a good time. Okay, we have to cover up a spot over here. We have a spot here. This is a little tiny piece. It's not really going to do much. So let me hold off on you, although I've got another piece of you. You almost cover it, but not quite. Not quite. What else do I have here? You're very thin. Okay, I've got another, oh, here we go, here we go. Found a nice big wide piece of pink. I think we'll strap you in over here. Oh, it's got lines on it. Well, let's do that. Instead of using that, we'll use the, the blue, just to give us a little bit of something different. There we go. All covered over here. I'm going to take just this much of this one. Sorry, I got glue on my fingers. I got to get rid of that piece and it is stuck to me. you down here and then let's take another piece about so big so big remember we're doing that with your little with the little kids so big there we go we'll cover that up and then is that enough to cover here it is Let's just do the whole thing. All right, so on this Scrappy Saturday and Marguerite Miller Challenge Day, we have made a collage. I think that's dry enough now. I can add in my list. I told you I was getting to the end of this. I am right at the end of it. Maybe I can get enough out of here to just, yep, there's enough to do this part. You can tell when you're getting to the end. Okay, we'll put that right there. Our butterfly is not sticking, so we're going to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac to make our butterfly stick right onto, it had a, one of those things, I'm going to take that right off. And let's just butterfly, stick our butterfly down. There we go. So on this uh, 22nd collage day, we have made our collage, I miss as it is, and we have put together a pinkish page in the journal, or in the journal, in the, I don't know, what do you call these books? We've got to come up with a decent name for these books. You're going to have to help me out with that. I'm going to cut these edges off because I don't want them hanging out over the edge. I think that's probably enough. There we go. And now I have, all I've got to do is cover the back. And I'm going to do them all in similar colors. So each week we're going to pick another color. And we're just going to make, we're going to fill this book up. So we're going to do the Mar Marguerite Miller Challenge and we're going to fill up this book. All right. Till later. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you are letting, just to let YouTube 
know that you like them and uh, click the bell for notifications. And that's it. I hope you're having a great weekend. And this is Cindy signing off.